Really? Yeah. Oh shit, okay. What's up, my name is D Styles. Uh, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. What's up, Texas? Out of New York. My name is Mike Boo. I'm from San Francisco, California. My name is Private Peep Show. We're here in Bangkok to record the follow-up album to 545. So we chose to record out of the United States. You know, just, just to change up the environment. You know, the state's a little rough right now, so we just wanted a whole new breath of fresh air, so Thailand was the place to be. What do you guys think of the fish life? We have a good friend out here, Spider Monkey. My name is uh, Bang, uh, aka DJ Spider Monkey, Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, he owns the B Lounge, which is right here on the street in, in the RCA uh, alley. I own the B Lounge. I rely on the B Lounge. He's got turntables, he's got a sound system, you know, he's got recording equipment. Dave and uh, Mike Boo is. They were like my family. Mike Boo, I haven't seen him for 20 years. Yeah, since I left the Frisco. They wanna do this LP here. As soon as I know, like, of course I gotta support more than 100% to my family. Along with his friend, Excess and Peep. They're like my brothers. And my brother's friend just, I got respect them as my brothers. Yeah, I think just the vibe, just kind of the vibe of kind of just location we're recording in, the vibe of the people, um, the food. As far as my favorite food in Bangkok, I'd have to say. It's gotta be the sea bass, the fried sea bass. Fried sea bass with green sauce. Just deep fried sea bass with the, with the green sauce. Deep fried sea bass with the green sauce. Gotta go with the green sauce. You mix that with the fish, man, and it's like fucking magic. So, yeah. Fried sea bass with the green sauce. It's like the end of the Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the food. It's all about the, the fried sea bass, the morning glory. Uh, a little bit of pad thai here and there, but yeah, we just went a little extra this time. I think that's why we banged out so many tracks this time. Kind of just like every little thing affects what sounds we're choosing, what we're trying to incorporate from like maybe the local sound. Yeah, it totally feels different from when we recorded in Vegas. We've been here recording for six days straight. Originally, we had planned to record at an Airbnb that we, we all uh, were staying at. We got about, I believe, two or three days in, and then a holiday came, and we we're just banging too loud, and the neighbors complained. The walls are really thin here, man. All the buildings here are connected, so you can't really bump. Base, the base just travels through the walls, and. Uh, had a few complaints. It wasn't like we got kicked out, but we just knew that if we were gonna continue to record there, that we couldn't really be as loud and we couldn't really get into it. So we decided to take it, move the studio over to the beat lounge. Wanted to keep Dave's rating, Dave's Airbnb rating up. And uh, so we just decided to move. And then AG offered, offered this spot, the beat lounge. And uh, 
change, it's changed the game. So here we're like in a loud uh, club system. We can really bump, we can really get into it. Record until four in the morning, you know? You know, being able to record in like a club, kind of having sub, having like just a vibe of a club and hearing how it'll sound instantaneous without having to reference later, definitely like helped out. I felt like the first day that we recorded, our stuff was a little tame, you know, like sonic, sonically wise, you know, we, could, we didn't really have that, that bottom in the Airbnb. And uh, once, once we just heard how loud it was, just the, just the vibe, the overall creative vibe was really, really nice. I think going into this recording session, we didn't really have any expectations. We knew that once we got into the same room, we always felt like we always had good chemistry anyway, so that things would just naturally happen. And, and it did. Something always comes up when, we, when we're together. When I'm at home and it's just me, it, it's, it's hard to get in the rhythm. When we're together, everyone plays their position, you know? It's easy for someone to take the wheel and we all trust that, oh, that person's behind the wheel and he could, he could drive. I wanted to have us kind of come up with the same amount of tracks that we did in Vegas, you know, kind of 11 sketches, kind of rough out, you know, get five out of it. But yeah, I mean, we definitely overpassed that, so. This time we came pretty close to the 20. And out of that 20... We're probably just gonna choose eight of the best, and that's what we're gonna put out uh, and share for you guys. It's gonna be a pretty po tough time to uh, decide what, what we're gonna use. You know, I was, have a chance to sit around and very good opportunity for me to, to see how it works, how, you know, the process of working, very inspired. Just sitting where they work is already inspired. Thank God for Spider Monkey. He really, you know, he went out of his way. You know, he blessed us. He let us uh, use Beat Lounge for us to record. And without him, you know, we're not banging out so many tra other tracks. The Beat Lounge doing the Scratch Jam every Tuesday night for about seven years now. Turntablism in Thailand, yeah. They're still underground, but it's growing. And a lot of people want to come and join us. And we try to tell them that it's not about how good you are. It's about you come in, you enjoy the sound. And after you do it for a while, you're getting better. And you can do better tricks, just like extreme sport, like skateboard, BMX, you know. I think the idea of competitions, at least to me, is not serving me anymore. But for those kids in Thailand, they still need to make some noise. So they, they still need to attend all those battles. But don't get caught to it. Don't get caught to the number one or something like that. I wanna 
let the world know that Thailand have turntablist. And please check us out. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.